Let's talk about one of the most important skills that we have as college writers. That's the ability to be able to write a research paper. The most important skill, the most single important skill in writing a research paper is your ability to take what's in the book, to process it mentally, and to use it in your own, in your own writing in a legitimate way. Now, what that means is that you must be able to use the skill we referred to earlier as paraphrasing. What is paraphrasing? A paramedic is someone who does all the things um, that a doctor might have to do in a specific instance, but he's not really a doctor. He's like a doctor. Um, a paralegal um, is like a lawyer, not quite a lawyer. And so a paraphrase is like the original document, but it's placed into our own words. Uh, our own phrasing, so it becomes a paraphrase. Now let's take a look at a sample paragraph, one that we might use in a paper, let's say about um, how meteors may have one day killed the dinosaurs and may in the future kill us. Let's look for a, sam for a second at this sample paraphrase. What killed the dinosaurs? It comes from an article by Sally Stevens titled, It Could Happen to Us in Science News, back in 1997. Okay, what we have to do is to read this paragraph and digest it well enough that we could write our own version of it, that all of the thoughts here on the paper go through our minds in a way we could turn around and tell someone else the gist the basic idea of what it says. So let's take a look at what it says. Well, it says in 1980, um, Nobel Prize winning physicist Luis Alvarez and his son Walter rocked the scientific world with their proposal that dinosaurs became extinct as a result of an impact of a huge rock from space. Okay, let's say that I just want to paraphrase just that much, okay? So let's try and do that. Okay, paraphrasing the first part, putting that into our own words, wasn't so hard. But then we come to the, uh, the really difficult part, this part about, um, what does it say? Ah, uh, here we go. Um, this part about the iridium, okay, and these uh, Cretaceous periods and so forth. What the original says is they found iridium in a thin layer that marked the boundary between the Cretaceous and the Tertiary periods good, except what if we don't happen to know offhand what iridium is or the Cretaceous or tertiary periods, and we're trying to write a research paper about this. Now, what do we have to do? Well, right in the middle of things, we have to stop and do a little bit of research. First thing, let's check out uh, iridium. Just look it up, and uh, Wikipedia tells us that it's this rare whitish metal that's primarily found in um, asteroids and meteors. It's much more common there than on Earth. Ah, okay. Cretaceous and Tertiary period. Look those up. Cretaceous is the period when the dinosaurs lived. Tertiary, that's the period when the mammals uh, came on the scene. And now we start to get it. Okay. Dinosaur period, Cretaceous. They find iridium in between that and the tertiary period, here come the mammals, iridium in between, okay, the iridium is the clue as to what happened in between those two periods, iridium common in meteors. Okay, very much like a uh, crime scene, working backwards. Now with that much in mind, we should be able to write our own paraphrase, right? Aha! Okay, so here's what we come up with writing from memory. Um, something like this. Two scientists named Alvarez, I don't remember what their first names were, made an amazing proposal in 1980. They discovered iridium, and I might as well put this in since I discovered it, a whitish metal in some, a whitish metal in some clay that marked the boundary between the time the dinosaurs disappeared and the time the mammals of the earth came forth. Okay, those are all um, our own words, just uh, from memory. Because iridium is rare in earth rocks, but common in meteorites, they theorized that the iridium had come from a cosmic impact. 
Now wait a minute. Some of that sounds very much like the original. Uh, in fact, it turns out that some of those phrases were remembered word for word. Okay, that's good. Uh, we want to have a couple of the original phrases in our paraphrase. So, uh, let's check back to the original and we find that um, these words here, because iridium is rare in earth rocks, is exactly the same as in the original. So let's put quotes around that. Iridium is rare in earth rocks. Okay. Then, um, it's our own wording for a while until we get to the end of the sentence, but common in meteorites, they theorize that the iridium had come from a cosmic impact. Okay, so, um, they theorized the iridium had come from a cosmic impact. Okay, put the uh, quotation mark on the inside of the comma. On the inside of the period, rather. And there we go. We have got a working paraphrase, mostly our own, and the phrases that are from the original are in quotes. Now, at the end of this, I need to give credit to the writer, so... Stevens, uh, page 21, and the period we see is on the outside. Okay, that means that everything up to this point is something that we have paraphrased. Now, after this point, we are free to make our own comments about it, and the reader will understand that everything down to here is Stevens, and everything after that is us, our own writing. Um, let's see, what could we say here? Sort of like crime scene detection and the mystery of who killed the dinosaurs. Oh, that's pretty good. That's original. The, iridi the iridium itself is the evidence, and the earth is the crime scene. Now, that's our own writing, and we can tell that because it comes after the Stevens 21. Now notice the other changes in the paragraph. We started the paragraph now by saying where the material comes from. According to Steve Stevens, two scientists named Alvarez. Okay, if we say according to Stevens, that means we no longer need Stevens' name over here in the parentheses because we put it in the paragraph. Okay, now that's as long as we've got a page number. If we don't have a page number, this is from the internet, then we probably better say Stevens anyway, because we have to put something in the parentheses, so that at the end of the paper, we can list this source in our Works Cited page. Hi. This is uh, Archie, the, uh, the research paper dog, and he's helping me to remind you just how important uh, paraphrasing is to the research paper. Taking all this material and putting it in our own minds and then producing a, uh, a well-researched and intelligent-sounding uh, research paper. Right? Okay. Thank you.